Hello, I'm Ken Hom. And you know, I get so many questions about fried rice. They say, Ken, uh, what's wrong with my fried rice? Why am I'm not doing it correctly? How come it doesn't come out like in the restaurants? So I want to show you how you can do fried rice in your own home using a wok and how easy it is just as long as you know certain things. First, you must cook your rice ahead of time. And I have cooked rice here. And you know what I do? Um, I cook a lot of rice and I put them in baggies and I freeze the baggies. So when I feel like a quick meal, I take the rice out and I thaw it, usually about 15 minutes, and it works really, really well. So have your rice cooked and cold. That's important. The rice must never be hot, especially when it hits the wok. I want to show you how to do a fried rice, sort of that is outside of the box and using some of your may maybe favorite things that is unusual. First, you need to start out with eggs. You beat eggs like I am doing here. You add a little bit of salt and pepper very quickly. And then what we're going to add is sesame oil. Remember, sesame oil is used for flavoring, not for cooking. And you're probably asking, what does a sesame oil do? Well, it keeps the egg from uh, fluid, and so you can cook it very, very quickly. I told you I'm going to do something that is a surprise. I think what is very nice is people who like fruit, using fried rice and fruit is absolutely wonderful. We have pineapple, and I do this often. Um, because I love pineapple. And you can do this with mango if you like. Cut that into very small cubes. And someone, bought, by the way, don't waste that, the core, chew on it. Uh, it's really delicious. And one of my biggest things I'm trying to do is to try to cut food waste, which is one of our biggest problems of uh, emissions. So please, try not to waste anything, especially for food. We cut this into very small dices. And a friend of mine from our garden, she gave me her apples. So I'm going to throw some of that in. Why not? Now, all this will go in my new book. <laughs> but. This is what's really wonderful about cooking in the wok. You can use your imagination. And you can mix things, but uh, with logical sense. And what I mean by that is um, things like fruit work very well in a fried rice. Why? Because all they need is warming. They don't need cooking, so that's perfect for um, a quick meal. Also, fruit like this is healthy. We don't eat enough fruit or vegetables. OK, now that's done. And add a little bit of green, some spring onions. Spring onions is absolutely wonderful. And I love that you can get all these products so easily. And. You won't believe it. We're ready to go. Now, certain things that will probably not work, for instance, in this fried rice, uh, strawberries will not work. Why? Because they're too soft and they're too watery. So a lot of it is also uh, common sense. OK, what you want to do is always get your wok very, very hot before you add the oil. By the way, when you're stir-frying something like this, um, be careful about using olive oil. Because why? Because olive oil has a lower burning temperature and it'll burn right away. So if you want to use olive oil, mix it with just a little bit of groundnut or uh, vegetable oil. 
and that works if you want to have the flavor, for instance, of olive oil. Now, heat the wok, and remember, you know it's hot when you put your hand over the wok and you can feel the heat. And you will also note that it will start to smoke a little. And remember, don't panic, because th that is a signal to you that your wok is hot enough. Now I can feel the wok is hot enough, and a big wok like this is perfect for fried rice, because you can make a lot. So the, I can feel the heat at this point. I will add a small amount of oil into the wok. And remember, your rice has to be cold before you add it in. And we swirl this around. As you can see, the smoke coming up. That is a signal to me that it's hot enough. When you add the rice, you can hear it crackling. That's a good sign. And you want that smokiness that comes with a really good fried rice. And for something outside of the box, I think it'd be wonderful to make this fried rice also slightly spicy. And I'll show you the secret with that. Actually, I love it because I do this at home. <laughs> so I want to share with you uh, my secret for a great fried rice. Now, as you can see, I'm actually, what, what am I doing? I'm pressing down the rice. Why? Because the rice is cold. I want to heat it up. So press it down like this so that it can get heat. And then I'm tossing it like a salad. And this is what is nice about a big wok. You can cook for a big family or you have lots of friends. Now, another question I get asked, how do you know when, for example, that the rice is heated through? Well, you can just see as you're tossing this, if it gets a little brown, that's good. Actually, this is the part that I love the most, all the brown bits. It's a little bit like chips in a fish and chips. All the bits are good. Now, it's really, and you could, getting through, you can tell if it's hot. You can see that it's hot by, you can taste it or just see a little bit that it's hot enough. When it's hot enough, that's when you add the eggs, the beaten eggs, and mix that thoroughly. So the egg gets to every part. And don't be alarmed when the egg clumps up. And again, press it down as I'm doing here so you can mix it all thoroughly. And at this point, you can just do egg fried rice. You just want, you want to make sure the egg is cooked. That's important. And don't panic if you see it very soggy like that. That's only normal. You want to continue stir frying that until it gets dry. The dry is what makes good fried rice. At this point, I'll add my spring onions to give it a little bit of color. Now it's getting very, very dry. I can see, and there, there are little brown bits in the rice like that. And that's a good sign because that means the rice will be having that wok flavors, uh, grilled and smoky. Now, the fruits go in at the last moment. And here's my surprise. What I do at home, is I use my favorite uh, chiu jiao chili oil. I'm addicted to it. And if I want to make my fried rice slightly spicy, I add a little bit of the oil into uh, the wok. And you know what's very nice about this? The spiciness goes very well with the fruit. Because the fruit is very sweet. And the spiciness adds a little bit of 
uh, je ne sais quoi, as the French would say. At this point, you want to add your fruit. And all you want to do with the fruit is you just want to warm it. You don't want to cook it at all because you don't want the, the, the liquid uh, water coming out. Uh, again, you want to toss it like this to heat up the fruit. You just want to heat it up. Oh, this is very nice. And what I love to do is I, I sort of taste it. Mm. It just needs a little bit more. Chili oil. Oh, that's very good. Oh. Now, if I had a restaurant on High Street, this is what I would put on the menu. You won't believe it. It's done just like that. My spicy fried rice with pineapple and apples. And so for all you fried rice fans, something new.